I'm at Mepham Cricket Ground, scene of some of the summer game's most illustrious feats. But 101 years ago, on a dark Saturday night, a football match which wasn't to take place led to one of the most extraordinary road tragedies in Gravesham's history. Local historian James Elford takes up the case. In uh, February 1912, members of the Dublin Fusiliers Regiment, who was stationed at Milton Barracks in Gravesend, came to Gravesend to watch an inter-regimental football match. The match unfortunately never took place, so the soldiers in question decided to um, have a bit of a kick about a scratch match, as they called it. Um, they endured to the cricketers afterwards for tea and possibly a beer, and an hour or so later, at about 6 p.m., they proceeded along Root and Road in a horse-drawn wagon, um, 17 men drawn by four horses down towards uh, Gravesend. It's approximately here that the wagon load of soldiers travelling back to Gravesend from the cricket ground um, passed. The horses started to shy and play up. Further along the road, nearer the church, is exactly where the incident happened. MacDonald, who was um, in charge of the horses, lost control. They started to gallop. He fell off the saddle and went under the wheels of the wagon. Well, imagine the scene. The original driver was dead or mortally wounded under the wheels of the cart and the horses continued to career on their way all the way to Gravesend eventually. But what happened next, Jim? One Private Brady bravely attempted to stop the horses by jumping from the wagon onto the lead horse. He slipped on the saddle and went under the wheels of the two-ton vehicle and was mortally wounded. Meanwhile, soldiers were jumping off, equipment was flying everywhere. Another soldier also attempted to bring the horses back under, the, under control and he too fell under the wheels, um, but he survived. Well, here we are at the site of uh, the former Milton Barracks. What, what role does it play in this story, Jim? Um, this plays an important role for two reasons. One being the inquest for MacDonald was held here and the second is that Private Brady, the second soldier who attempted to stop the horses and went under the wheels, was brought here as a casualty. Um, he succumbed to his injuries after 24 hours and at the inquest, which was held at the George at Mepham, it was discovered that he died of internal bleeding and broken ribs. So it was about here where the story ends. What actually happened? Well, after the horses had run for five and a half miles uncontrolled, um, they entered the town centre on an extremely busy Saturday evening. It's a miracle that people weren't injured. The horses came down Princess Street and collided with the rear of a shop wall at the base. The horses were unhurt and they were led back to Milton Barracks where they were then stabled for the night. And so the whole story ended almost precisely here. Yep, um, after five and a half miles of tragedy, um, heroes, um, the public um, almost coming to a sorry end one of Gravesend's greatest unknown stories um, comes to its conclusion. And uh, that's reported in the local paper at the time. Um, a massive report and as tribute to how quickly things happened in those days. This is the Saturday after the event. It includes photographs of the funeral and the reports of both the inquests. All in a, all in a week. And a terrible a week it was for Gravesend. Absolutely.